So a few days ago I recorded this back in black tutorial and I immediately received an email from YouTube and here's what they said. Hi Kevin Zogschwert, due to a copyright claim your YouTube video has been blocked. This means that your video can no longer be played on YouTube. It lists my video title, copyrighted content, says back in black, and claimed by WMG, which I'm guessing is Warner Music Group. Anyway, long story short, I had to re-edit the video, and in the performance sections, I sped it up slightly so that the copyright bots won't detect it as ACDC. Anyway, hope you enjoy this one. Thanks for watching. <laughs> ACDC Back in Black tutorial starts right now. Here's your first riff. This is a four measure pattern. We're going to start on the first measure here with E5, and that is the fourth string and fifth string at the second fret. You're going to hold that down with your index finger and pick the top three strings. Okay, next we're going to go to a D chord. We're going to eliminate the bottom string of the D chord, however, so just lift that. You won't need it. We're only going to pick the second string at the third fret, the third string at the second fret, and the fourth string open. And we'll pick this chord down, up, down. Okay, uh, next we're going to go to the A5 power chord, which is virtually the same as the E5 power chord, but down a string. So now you're going to hold the third string at the second fret, the fourth string at the second fret, with that index finger. Just hold down both strings, and pick the second. Uh, excuse me, pick the third, fourth, and fifth string, down, up, down. Okay, so that's A5 power chord there. So so far we've got E5 one time, the D chord down, up, down, and the A5 down, up, down. Okay, here's the next part of this riff. We're going to start in the bottom string on the third fret, and we're going to pick that and pull off. Okay, which is to pull off with the ring finger after you pick it. Then we're going to do the same thing on the second string. And then we'll go to the third string at the second fret here on the A, and bend that and release it to the open string. So here that is slowly. Now that riff repeats from the beginning. The first measure that you learned is going to happen again now, which is this. Okay, so that's the same, but the fourth measure is different. Here's the fourth measure. We're going to start on the second fret on the A string, to the fourth fret on the top string, back to that second fret on the A string, to the fifth fret on the top string. Back to the second fret, to the sixth fret on the top, the second fret one more time, to the seventh fret on the top. That's the end of the fourth measure right there. So that covers the whole main riff of this tune from the, uh, I guess that's considered the verse riff. So here that is slowly. Here's your next riff, the chorus. We're going to do the A5 power chord again that you learned just a moment ago. Then you go to the E5 power chord. This next one's a little different. This is the second fret. Uh, it's a B5 power chord for those of you that know this. B5, we're going to be at the second fret on the fifth string, the fourth fret on the fourth string, and the fourth fret on the third string. And you only pick those strings that we're holding right there. And that's a B5 power chord. Then you go back to A5. And back to the B5 right there. So that whole measure is this. A5. E5. B5. A5. 
B5. Okay, so a little quicker now. And repeat that. Okay, now on to the third measure of this chorus. It's the G chord. For those of you that know a G chord, we'll be holding it like this. We're going to eliminate this index finger though. So just lift the index finger and kill that string with your middle finger. Just kind of touch the fifth string with your middle finger right there and strum all six strings for this chord. So we're going to do it eight times. We're going to strum the G chord eight times at a different rhythm, which you all know uh, from the song if we play along with it here. Alright, then we go to the D chord three times. Okay, so let's hear that with the track from the chorus. And now you're back right into the verse, verse 2. It's exactly what we learned on the first part of this lesson. So you've already got that all down. Uh, then it goes into the chorus again. Um, this time it adds a few things. So we're going to go over this here in detail, the second chorus. The first two measures are the same from what we just learned. That's the different part right there, the third measure. I'm going to show you that now. We're going to hit that G chord again like we did before. To 1D. To 1A5. To a slight bend on the third fret on the top string. To an A5. Okay, so slowly that looks like this. And uh, it does that two times. Let's hear that chorus from the beginning. Okay, so those are all riffs that I've covered. You should be able to get through that now with the riffs that we've learned. Then we come into the solo section. I'm not going to teach the solo in this tutorial. I'm just going to do the rhythm guitar parts. Uh, maybe I'll do that in another upcoming tutorial. Um, let's check out the rhythm for the solo, though. Okay, here's the rhythm guitar part for the solo section. We're going to start on that E5 power chord once again. One time. Then we're going to go to the 5th fret on the A string and the seventh fret on the D string. That's a D5 power chord right there. And we're going to play that three times down, up, down. Then I'm just going to move my index finger to the fourth fret on that. I might move my pinky here uh, if it's more comfortable. Try it either way with the ring finger or pinky, whichever you prefer. And I'm going to play that three times. And then back to the E5 three times. Three times again and three times again, which is the start of the repeat of the riff that we're learning here. Let me go through that again slowly. Here's the first part of the solo riff. And then it c repeats with that uh, fifth fret chord again and the fourth fret chord again. Let's see that. So right here we're at but it changes right now, so we're going to add one change here, which is E5 to A5, E5 to A5, which looks like this. And then it repeats. So that's a four measure riff right there as well. Let me show you that with the track here. Okay, so that was kind of quick there at the end uh, where it did the E5 to A5, E5, A5. So you got to be kind of quick on the movement there. Then it's a repeating uh, pattern for that for the rest of the guitar solo. So that's, that's all there is for the guitar solo there. You're all set. The next riff you need to know is the bridge section. I'm going to be in the second position on this on the A string. And I'm going to pick the open E string first. Okay, so open E there. 
And then I'm going to slide from five to four with my ring finger on the A string. So it looks like this so far. Okay, then we're going to go to the open E, to the fourth fret on the A string, third fret on the E string. And then this next riff looks a lot like the beginning. We're going to go two, five, two, six, two, seven. Okay, that's a lot like the beginning riff that we learned for the verse. So here this riff is slowly. So that's the main concept there, and it does the same thing on the A string. So it does that pattern on the E string uh, four times, then it goes to the A string two times. Let me walk you through that real quick, but it's the same uh, pattern on the A string. Okay, and you do that twice. So let me play that for you from the bridge section. Back into the chorus riff right there, which you've already learned. You've just learned all the riffs to ACDC back in black. Get rockin'. Have a good time with this one. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and tap that notification bell down below. Also, leave a comment uh, if you'd like to request any future song tutorials. Go ahead and do that down below. See you next time. Uh -huh.